All right, 8.4, the last section of chapter eight. So solving problems using trigonometry, that means we can use the sine law, the cosine law, or any of SOHCAHTOA to solve these problems. And I decided I wanted to focus on the Leviathan because I've never actually written it before. Um, it's at Wonderland, summer's around the corner, and uh, who knows, maybe I can actually go on this uh, fastest and tallest roller coaster in all of Canada. So, you know what, why don't we just all take a math trip to Canada's Wonderland, okay? And I'm obviously kidding because, um, yeah, it's a little bit late in the year, but anyways, you can use your imagination, all right? So, let's determine the height of the Leviathan to the nearest meter. As you can see, there's the peak of the Leviathan. Uh, there's no way I can actually get up there and, what, drop a measuring tape down to someone on the ground? That's not going to work. So what I could do is um, I could walk around the bottom right underneath the Leviathan in maybe a triangular fashion and get a whole bunch of measurements. So the 71 degrees, um, that can actually be obtained using something called the clinometer. Okay, so... I'm taking a look at this and I see two triangles. I'm actually going to indicate them through a different color. Um, and you know what? Why don't we just get rid of the background picture so you can see it a little bit more clearly? Also, why don't we also use um, some letters to distinguish each of the corners? Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, we have a yellow triangle and that looks like it's a right angle triangle. We also have a red triangle, which looks like it's not exactly a right angle triangle. They didn't indicate it. And I'm looking at the orange side in between. So I specifically made this orange because in these types of questions, we usually have um, something that both of the triangles share. And it's usually a side. That side is probably what's going to give me information from one triangle to the other triangle. Because I'm looking at the yellow triangle and I'm thinking there's actually not enough information to solve for the question mark. But there is a lot of information in the red triangle. So if I can find the orange side, it'll give me information about the yellow triangle. Okay, now again, the bottom triangle is not a right angle triangle, so I'm thinking we'll probably use a law. If I find this last angle, which can be easily done, Okay, I'll have partners. It'll partner up with the 120 across from it. Okay, so I just took 180 degrees and I subtracted the 62 and the 15 and that gave me that angle C. Those two are partners right there. That means that I can use the sine law. Okay, so I set up sine C over little c. And since I'm looking for where the question mark is, that common side, I'm going to set up sine b and little b. Okay. So I just replaced all the different numbers. Sine of 103 and its opposite side, 120, is equal to sine of 15 and its opposite side, which is little b. Now, you guys have seen this before. I'm going to cross multiply. So b times sine 103 is equal to 120 times sine 15. Since b is multiplying that sine 103, I'm going to get rid of it and bring it to the other side so that b is by itself. And we do that through a division. Okay, and I'm going to divide on both sides, and that means these guys cancel out. So I get approximately 31.9. Now I'm missing my approximation dot, but you know that it's there. Okay, so again, it should be right here. Moving on. That gives us that common side now, okay? And that's going to be information that'll help me out with the yellow triangle now. So since it's a right angle triangle, I can use SOHCAHTOA. And since I'm looking for the opposite, I have the adjacent, because my eyeball is down here, that's where my angle is. I'm going to use tan. Okay, so there's tan, tan of 71 degrees is your x, in this case little a, over 31.9. Okay, so over 1, cross multiply, that means 1 times a is a, 31.9 times tan 71, and there we go, approximately. So all these guys are approximate because that 31.9 was originally approximated, 
and our therefore statement. So the Leviathan apparently is 93 meters tall. So again, really, really hoping to get on this roller coaster in the summertime. Okay, and maybe scream my head off. But that's another story.